All right, I ran across a, a project here on Indestructibles. This is the URL. It is an extremely simple oscilloscope clock. Now, <laughs> I've always wanted to build one of these and just never got around to it. And they used to be really complicated to build, and then they got super simple. And this one is the most trivial, simple. I mean, in 10 minutes, you're done. I mean, it's... <laughs> It is that trivial of a of a project. So here you go. This is how you do it. I love the schematic. So <laughs> it's trivial. <laughs> you use an ESP32 and you hook up the X to uh, pin 25 and you hook up the Y to pin 26 and you're done. <laughs> That's it. I just love the schematic. All right. So um, you need an ESP32. Anyone will do. So I I'm going to use this one here. And I've programmed it, and I've hooked up uh, pins 25 and 26 in ground, and I'm uh, ready to go. Um, and so you need to hook it up to an oscilloscope. So here it is hooked up to my uh, Tech 336, and yeah, you get a clock. <laughs> it's really, really fun. Um, and like I said, it's super trivial. So the software is pretty complicated also, though. It actually uses the Wi-Fi portion of the ESP32 to go to a time server to update the time automatically and everything. I didn't do that. I just turned it on to try to play with it. Um, but it's very much like that uh, clock that I that I did a project on that used a time server to sync to everything. But anyway, you can do it with this one if you like. Um, so the software is uh, pretty complete in, in that way. So here is a video of the, uh, of the clock going. And uh, it looks it looks nice. It, 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 it looks pretty good. Um, so uh, this is done on an analog oscilloscope. And this may be one of the very, very, very few cases where you have to have an analog oscilloscope. I tried it on my fancy Rigol and failed. <laughs> so if anybody knows how to make this look right on a Rigol, I would love to to have that information. I tried persistence. Uh, I tried memory depth to speed it up. I tried um, averaging. I tried high res. Uh, I tried limiting the bandwidth. I tried all kinds of stuff. And this is as good as I could get. Uh, so definitely a fail, a fail there. But uh, otherwise, on an analog oscilloscope, this thing looks great, and it is really, 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 really fun. So I encourage this project because, like I said, it'll take you 10 minutes, and it's just super trivial.